Today, we will talk about the equity multiplier. The term equity multiplier refers to a risk indicator that measures the portion of a company's assets that is financed by shareholders' equity rather than by debt. The equity multiplier is calculated by dividing a company's total asset value by the total equity held in the company's stock. A high equity multiplier indicates that a company is using a high amount of debt to finance its assets. A low equity multiplier means that the company has less reliance on debt. The equity multiplier is also known as the leverage ratio or financial leverage ratio and is one of three ratios used in the DuPont analysis. Investing in new and existing assets is key to running a successful business. Companies finance the acquisition of assets by issuing equity or debt. In some cases, they resort to issuing a combination of both. As an investor, you may want to determine how much shareholders' equity is being used to pay for and finance a company's assets. This is where the equity multiplier comes into play. The equity multiplier is a metric that reveals how much of a company's total assets are financed by shareholders' equity. Essentially, this ratio is a risk indicator used by investors to determine a company's position when it comes to leverage. The equity multiplier is calculated by dividing a company's total asset value by the total equity held in the company's stock. The formula for the equity multiplier is total assets divided by total shareholders' equity, where total assets include both current and long-term assets and total shareholders' equity is calculated as total assets minus total liabilities. An equity multiplier of two means that half the company's assets are financed with debt, while the other half is financed with equity. The equity multiplier is an important factor in DuPont analysis, which is a method of financial assessment devised by the chemical company for its internal financial review. The DuPont model breaks the calculation of return on equity, ROE, into three ratios. If ROE changes over time or diverges from normal levels for the peer group, the DuPont analysis can indicate how much of this is attributable to the use of financial leverage. The equity multiplier calculation is straightforward. Consider Apple's balance sheet at the end of the 2021 fiscal year. The company's total assets were $351 billion, and the book value of shareholders' equity was $63 billion. The company's equity multiplier was 5.57x, 351 divided by 63. Now let's compare Apple to Verizon Communications, VZ. The company has a very different business model than Apple. The company's total assets were $366.6 billion for the fiscal year 2021, with $83.2 billion of shareholders' equity. The equity multiplier was thus 4.41x, 366.6 divided by 83.2. Here are five key takeaways. 1. An equity multiplier is a measure of the portion of the company's assets that is financed by stock rather than debt. 2. A high equity multiplier generally means that a company has a higher level of debt. 3. A lower equity multiplier may indicate that a company is using shareholders' equity to finance its assets or that it cannot attract lenders for a loan. 4. Investors judge a company's equity multiplier in the context of its industry and its peers. 5. The equity multiplier is also known as the financial leverage ratio. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.